Game Pass is essential. Why? Well, I could go into detail about the quality, variety, and sheer amount of games, but instead, I'm going to tell you a personal story about how trying a game on Game Pass was one of the best decisions I've ever made. When Game Pass was announced, I was quite sceptical. It sounded like a dumping ground for the industry's second-hand AAA titles and every indie game under the sun. Any first-party games that interested me, I already owned. Examples include Halo and Forza. So I thought to myself, this isn't for me. Well, one day, Game Pass went on sale. One month for the measly value of one euro. No one could reject that offer. And so, I purchased Game Pass and instantly started to download some titles I hadn't gotten around to. Crackdown 3, Fallout 4, Sea of Thieves, etc. Whilst scrolling through the titles I had ignored, one of them caught my eye. F1 2018. I adore racing games, so it may come as a shock to many of you that I had never played an F1 game or even watched a Formula 1 race before. The concept was completely new to me, and so, craving a simulation racing game that wasn't Forza Motorsport, I gave it a download. After trying out one or two games, I eventually got round to it. That was on Tuesday, and by Friday, I was watching the first practice session for the 2019 Azerbaijan Grand Prix. I was completely hooked. Since then, I have not missed a single qualifying session or race, and I frequently watch practice when I can. The teams, drivers, tracks, history, cars, strategy, speed, detail. I was stunned I had never delved into the sport or the game before. Something that seemed so boring and monotone was actually the complete opposite. And since then, I have bought the next two entries and have amassed over 25 days worth of playtime. It has quickly become one of my favourite franchises and I have even purchased a force feedback wheel to enhance the experience. I regret never checking it out earlier and it has taken me a while to catch up on the history of the sport, but it was well worth it. So what's the lesson here? Well, always be open to new experiences new games, and most importantly, get Game Pass, because you may just surprise yourself by discovering your next favourite game. Oh, and Halo Infinite will launch on Game Pass.